today we are going to our very first RV outing with the little guy. And we're headed to the Tampa Summer RV Show. And now that we've lived in the Airstream for a couple of weeks with a baby and are thinking about what it would mean to be here with two, we're excited to check out some new rigs and get some new ideas now that we have a little more context. But somebody's sleeping on the job again. So we're trying to limit naps into about two hours during the day since he's still so little. So time to wake the little guy up. Hi, buddy. Oh, I know. It's hard being a baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> successfully completed and now we're a little bit milk drunk so it's time to put on our clothes and get the heck out the door. All right ready to go? Say yes daddy let's go. <laughs> ready for an adventure? Yep. Adventure mode on. Let's head to the show. Six months ago, we were here for the Florida Super Show, which is one of the biggest shows across the entire country that they do here in Tampa Bay. So, we're excited to check out and see what the differences are between that one and the Summer Show. One of the first things I'll say is that it is hot as Hades here in Florida right now. So it's really nice that it seems like they've got more RVs in the indoor area. All right. No shortage of space, that's for sure. Gas ranges, four burners, residential refrigerator over there. With as much space as this place has, I really think it's only built for about two people. Half this thing is the bathroom in the back. Oh, wow, that's nice. Love the details, you know, like the ambient lighting underneath the cabin tree. It's like that. It really does make a difference. King size bed here. That's always a bonus. Especially since the largest you're going to get in the airstream is a queen. Two small windows near the bed area. Get yourself a little space heater here. Good entertaining space, but I mean, I have no idea where we would put the baby bassinet, much less the second one, so. Um, this is like a lot more square footage. <laughs> You'd have to move sofas and stuff though. Yeah, yeah, but even if you move one of the sofas, you could put like two bassinets in All the space right. of one sofa. I'll so. give you that. And this looks like we've got, oh, what? Oh yeah. Got your CD player there. That's what I'm <laughs> talking about. I think to me, this is the real selling feature of all of the fifth wheels is the storage space underneath there. Right now we are really running out of storage underneath our truck because the Airstream has none of this, but like you can fit 12 strollers in there. This would be great. Hopefully 12 strollers doesn't mean 12 kids. Okay, we're not really gonna fit 12 <laughs> strollers, but I'm just saying. Tons of room and easy access to storage, which we don't have with the Airstream. Well, this is for storage over here. Peek here, double bathroom, Susan hers. Nice. Wow, that's pretty cool. Looks okay. like you've got a skylight there too. That's like one big skylight in front of this. Uh, substantially we larger. We haven't seen bedroom. this um, this setup before, and I like this better than I like the really big bathroom in the back because I feel like when you're RVing, you don't ever end up spending that much time in the bathroom unless you have issues. Then you probably spend a lot of time in the bathroom, but other than that. <laughs> it has space for a washer and dryer and hookups. That's really nice. <laughs> Again, you've got the slide outs. 
everywhere. We've got two small windows in the bedroom area here. And this, really, I don't know if there's a lot. I mean, it, we're not too familiar with fifth wheels, but a lot of them. But having this, it's all glass. That's really, really cool. You can imagine your bedroom sort of with a beautiful view, and you just you sit there in the morning and have your morning coffee right there. That would be great. I like this kitchen better than the last fifth wheel we just looked at because it does have more counter space. Yeah. What I don't like about this layout is how small the dining room table is. Because this thing is huge and it's half the size of our Airstream's dining room table. You could put a couple of like bar stools here and you might be able to use this. Because, you yeah, know, it's basically a party for two right there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it has a wine refrigerator. Oh, there you go. We don't have space for one in our Airstream. We don't have space, exactly. That is the thing, right? We see these pop-up campers all the time at RV parks, but I've never actually been inside one. So let's check it out. Holy moly, it's so spacious. I think the natural light adds to the openness. Even yeah. Even though it's small, it feels like you're... This is definitely, this is definitely a step up on tent camping. We could totally sure. do this. If we were just doing like a weekend or something, this would be no brainer. It's kind of like glamping. <laughs> Still can't talk you into the tent, huh? <laughs> This is like a tent here. I mean, this is kind of like a tent, like a pop-up tent with some amenities. Yeah, this thing is cool. So when we tell people that we're interested in living full-time RV life with a family of four, one of the first RVs that always comes up is the Grand Design Solitude. So of course, we're gonna go look at one of these again. Okay, kitchen already has the best setup we've seen so far. Tons of counter space and a table for four. Okay, and I also love this living room setup because it has windows everywhere they could be versus using one of these walls for a TV. I love that. And of course, you still got the TV. It just pops up. Here it is. Well, this is actually pretty comfortable. So far, Dash thinks it's a snooze fest. That's a legit pantry. It is a legit pantry. You've got the slide out drawer down below. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, nice little bathroom that would be shared by the whole family. For boondocking, one bathroom is really nice. Agreed. Agreed, 100%. Again, you've got a king here. You've got the slide out with, looks like an additional window right above the bed, whereas yeah. the other two just had like the two side windows. So that's a little bit different from the Forest River. Yep, this one's totally doable. But different from our restaurant, for sure. All right, we're gonna brave the outdoors. Got some Jaco's here. There we go. Jaco Terrain 19Y, clocking in at 169. <laughs> well, that's nice. Here's your bed. Got the back windows here. We've got a sink. Got the Mercedes chassis, huge dash. I'm assuming you've got nav on here as well, which would be a huge bonus. Love the big screens. Here we go, solar controllers. So this thing obviously comes equipped with solars, solar panels. You've got your CD player as well. 
huge add-on there for you uh, millennials and Gen uh, Zers. Here's an American Coach, American Patriot, clocking it at a discounted rate. I'm sure it's a show special of 185,000. Nice. Okay, lovely shower door. Oh, nice. Oh, that's shower slash toilet. Okay. Oh, nice. The fixtures here are definitely top notch. Much nicer than the last Mercedes chassis we were just in. Um, you can see the stitching on the seats here as well. Very, very nice stitching. Cabinetry above. This would be considered a class B. So if van life is your thing, this is not a bad option. We've got a TV here, really, really nice. And the screen here, we talked about the screen on the last class B, really huge, huge monitor. I'm loving these huge monitors. Well, so we were taking a walk outside and then suddenly, typical Florida, a storm rolled in and it is raining cats and dogs. So we're stuck inside, trying to figure out what to do next. All right, checking out a cool class A. This one is a gas specific, but it's really pretty and it's about the same price as our Airstream. Oh, I love when they have these. The hide a loss where the bed comes down. Oh, so that's a bed that... Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's super convenient. Not one, not two, but Three cup holders, yeah. And no, wait, uh, four, five. Almost enough for a six pack of soda. Looks like one that would definitely be, no, thought that might be a dishwasher. Nope, no dishwasher. That thing is huge. What do you say we switch to dash cam? You ready? What dash would see? Ready, dash? <laughs> dash cam! Tell me tell. This is the dash cam. <laughs> this is what dash would see. I like the bathroom. Nice and chill. Check it out. Nice. Uh, and, and again, love the light that comes in from the top of the skylights in the showers. There we go. Nice. If we were going to be in one of these, we would definitely be going diesel. But this one is nice. Washer and dryer. Oh, it's a combination washer dryer. Mm-hmm. You don't think so? you're not a big fan? <laughs> Somebody's talking in their sleep. It's a huge fridge. Yeah, it's a ridiculously large fridge. It's both doors open. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a residential unit there. It's huge. Got Dometic electric cooktop here. Oh, natives are getting restless. I think that means he's ready to move on to our next RV adventure. Probably. Outdoor TV, huge underbody storage. Got a slide out here, complete with your pool noodle. You know you're in a hot RV market when it's a selling feature that it's available immediately. Hello 2022! This next camper is one that we've seen a bunch of at different campgrounds. And a lot of different colors. They come in blue and green like this one, red. But they're supposed to be retro inside and we've never gotten the chance to check one out. So let's do it. Smells good in here. 
This is so cute. And it sleeps. One, two, three. And it has bunks, four or five. This will be perfect for a family for the weekend. I love it, it's really cute. And apparently I've heard that some of these units have checkered floors. This one doesn't, but you can see how that would give it a really cool retro feel. And it even has a nice little bathroom with a tub, which you don't see in RVs very often. Very cool. I like it. Now we know what the retro is all about. You've also heard that the price tag on these are between 30 and 40k. So if you're looking for something that's, you know, perfect for a week of camping that has a little personality, this definitely has more than what you can get in a lot of that price range. Love it. All right. So summer show, lots of fun. Definitely significantly smaller than the super show, which is in January every year. I would say the advantage though is that compared to the super show, the super show is pure madness and there's so many people here whereas the summer show not as many people right and granted we're here on a friday so That's true. saturday and sunday may be a madhouse but i really enjoyed it and we got to actually talk to quite a few of the, the different people about the different units which was different from the show and i loved true they actually had time to speak to you as yeah. opposed to we're like at the Super Show, you may even wait online to talk to somebody because there's just so many people. Or even so. to walk into one of the RVs. That's true. Usually so. when you're walking into an RV at the Super Show, there's there could be like several other people already in there, so you have pretty much free reign. Yeah, which was really great. Tell us what your favorite RV show is. We're gonna be traveling a lot throughout the country over the next year and a half, or longer, and we'd love to know which ones you think should be on our list. So make sure to leave it in a comment below. But until next week, guys, Make sure you wander local, because as you know, it's good for the soul.